Okay, let's try to do this with one hand. Um, this was my Het Pied female to my Champagne male, and they just shed out. So let's take a look at these guys. There's some pretty heavy pied markers in here. Come on, y'all. Pretty funky looking babies. So here's one possible Het. Really nice. They got head stamps too. With some white sides there. This one, let's see. Let me lick your tail, baby. That one has the pied markers. So that's a good sign. Let's look at this one here. This one's pretty nice funky pattern this one I believe has applied markers maybe maybe not yeah that one's iffy on pied markers they're there but not as strong let's take a look at this guy here hey babe Pretty nice. They all got pretty funky patterns. Let's take a look at your tail. Clean belly. Definite pied markers on that one. So there's two of them with really strong pied markers. One of them with eh, iffy pied markers. And then this one, is it this one? Let's see. Yeah, this one's got a dirty belly. And no pied markers on this one. So at least two, maybe three of the normals have really strong pied markers. And of course this was the only champagne. So hopefully this guy, and it is a boy, so hopefully this boy is headed for pied. But she's got He's got that mark right there. And then, where's the other one? Now you got another one. Oh, and that one right there. So, I mean, it's got two, two little marks there that, you know, possibly I thought could possibly be Paradox, since Paradox varies so much. There's the other one. Could be, but from what I've heard that nobody thinks it is. So, but he's cool anyway. Hopefully he's het for pied. So, that is it. So they're out and ready to be set up in the individual tubs. Alright, take care. Peace.